They're going to be starting on the CT side and Heroic on the CT side. And already run and gun, sip and glaive with two opening kills here to start with. Heroic reeling from that and trying to fall back from the middle. Shush, can he catch any headshots here? He's got so many opportunities. Might get another one. Might be right back into a three on three. That is real close. Great pace to start from Astralis, but they know how to capture the moment. They won't go without checking. Oh, no, I, I spoke too soon. They didn't look at Tessus. He's here, but he doesn't find anything. Surely he can't keep doing this, but I mean, I would have said the same thing yesterday or when they were playing up against Vitality, and that's obviously turned out to be true. Glaive is going to be going down. It's a great shot from Tessus with the Deagle. And look at how he's waiting for it. Flashbang coming in from Stout, who got a kill as well with the 5-7, and they've locked him out of this bomb site. And they are real. They're all over this. They have swarmed in. They're dug in like an Alabama tick. Yep, and they picked up those Galils as well. They'll clean up the round. They don't lose a single player. Tessus with a quad kill. Yeah, they're going to go for it. They're making a lot of noise getting here. Shush, he's surely calling in the back of it. It's going to be too late. Great opening from Mr. Katie and realizing if I go down the round of so would Yabby on a lightning fast flank. They were not expecting it. He nearly gets the triple. Look at Blamer. He's down to 30 health. Make a mistake or at least come look for them and look at the KD and he wants to know is anyone still on this bomb site? Truth is, Mister was there and he's going to be found. Molotov gets thrown out. Glaive has to push in front of it. Attempted pre-fire from KD and it's a great play and they'll find Blamer at the end. Well done. Going to have to be up real early to catch Sip with something like that. Oh, but the headshot will do it. No fakes needed. Just an AK straight up down doing all the work. And mister, you will never suspect that. You've already taken that side. You're not going to expect for there to be a second player. Farley trying to take the battle. And you know what? He had the right read. He knew Tess was going to re-peak him. He just couldn't adjust in time. All right, back to the A pressure. I mean, they got really close the last time, right? Gonna try and do it again. Glaive, even though completely oh, wow. behind and through okay. the smoke. A double entry. That is amazing. They need that more. Three versus four now. Katie, and he can't see a thing. Yabby's going to be a kill, and somehow it's still a 2 1 2. I can't believe it. Tessus is here to take down Glaive. And now it's all on Farley. Oh, in the open. He's going to be found. Triple kill for Yabby, defending the bomb site. Decides not to throw the nades. Thinks the rifle might be a better choice. But he's going to get down. Nicklin, Glaive with the opening. He's just done it time and time again here. This first half has been all Glaive for the Astralis team. They're going to be losing Mr. The bomb is lost over there, and how did it even end up here? They have to swing to pick it up, and that will be the end of the round for Astralis. Nothing they could do. Not really rushing the B-bomb side, but certainly they were in a position where if they would have found a kill at that corner, they could have. Kadian going to be showing up with the M4. There's so much firepower here. Farley finally going to be taken down Stown, but still. Look at how low they all are on that T side. And Yabby's in here ready and waiting, and that's an easy shot for him to hit, so... This is kind of falling apart. Mister, he'll try to round the angle. Yabby, usually call this the Sphinx angle. It's a very strong off angle, and it does net them a 12th. Heroic up majorly at the half on Astralis' map. But yeah, never. it was good communication. They did call out all the positions, and now a fight in the middle. Heroic now on the T side, a good flash to set it up. And that absolutely wrecks. That's a five man stack in the middle for Astralis. As they try to clear this space out, Tessus will be contesting Blame F. It's a tough fight to win, but he's able to accomplish that. Now it gets a little bit interesting, though. Still a chance for Glaive to win it with two strong headshots. Maybe just a one, because second player in KD was already trying to plant the bomb. That's really awkward. Now we've got in-game leader versus in-game leader picking up that USP and looking for it. Oh, man. Still got 12 bullets. He's getting completely surrounded. They're everywhere, and the backup can't be found. Farley gets too far away. 40 seconds and a lot of donut control being taken from Heroic. In fact, they're pushing everyone oh. in here. Farling missing the shot and that might almost be the end of the map here. Mister is on his own. He does line up a big double. That's more than you could have expected. They didn't quite check it. Tess is going to be out dueled in the end and it will be now two on three. A little bit delayed on that bomb plan. They're just not feeling safe about it. Katie missing a shot and there's nothing more to be saved here. Three on three. And they've picked up some rifles. Mister started to sneak around the corner. This is dangerous, but he's going to win the fight against town. That's great news. And now it's just Gabby and Shush left. Shush playing this real tight. And he's going to be taking down Glaive. 
Still have Kits on the other side, so plenty of time for the defuse. Shush just kind of trying to it up. He comes running in. That's a nice read from Shush. That's actually really cool, but Mr. Even better foresight to see it coming in. That's a quad kill in the round for Mr. He's up to 22 now. Okay, <laughs> it's so crazy. Runs up through the Molotov. He did the boost initially. Sip, though, we're going to take two in return. And now swing around. Third kill found from Sip, and it's all on Shush now. One versus three. Yeah, he knows where Sip is, but what does that matter when he's just hiding in the corner? Again, a good time to not try and fight anybody. And Shush going to be walking in. Misters there, and the timing just not working out for Shush at all. Oh, my God. Tessas. Oh, oh what? Timed completely. Glaive with the 5-7 out. We'll take him down. Yabby and Kadian are still here. That bomb is ticking. They, everyone has a kit, so that's not going to be a problem. But how do they even stop the defuse right now? They are really deep on that ramp. And there's three people left alive. There we go. Oh, they come off it for a second. Oh, and oh, the what? wall bang. Mister is out of it. He needed one more shot here. A second left. He does leg somebody on the other side. It's not enough. It's 14 to 15. And we're going all 30 rounds. But now Glaive calling in some backup. Farley is behind him, so both the AWPs are at this bomb site. They take down Yabby and Heroic. Are they just going to push it all in? They will. Adian gets blown up. Glaive ready to defend the bomb site. And under a minute. Oh no, the bomb. They now have to boost up to try and pick it up. This is a bit of a nightmare. Oh no. And while this is happening, more people are showing up. Good shot from Stown Farlik. Nearly burns alive. He's got the right idea. He's snuck out, still scoped up, not giving away any sound cues. And he's making damn sure to hit that shot. Stow now on his own. Oh. And Sip will come in. The timing couldn't have been better. It's overtime. 15-15. Astralis with an absolutely historic comeback. They might try and see if they can test him one more time. And there's a lot of people out. He still gets the kill on Trish. That's pretty good. Glaive in the A-bomb side with the AWP. Flash comes over, but... He's up against that trusty box. Missed opportunity, but we're down to 25 seconds, and there's a flank in middle. Sip, he might, he might win this round right here. <gasps> Adian takes him down. I don't know how he no lives. Way. If he dies, it's round over, and they catch Blamef on the retreat towards the B-bomb site. They've got away with so much in this round. And Yabby, one bullet here might just do it. Kadian on the bomb plant, and they know they've got Glaive locked in. Heroic had absolutely no business winning this round. Oh, wow. And they get it done. And Sip into the smoky. Oh, he's going to go back out again, but they're right on the other side. This is so dangerous. It's going to wipe out this defense, it looks like. Farley trying to retreat, but he's under a lot of pressure. Oh. He handles it so well. A nice triple. Farley, he's had a pretty tough game, I would say, but that absolutely makes up for it here. Two versus two now. Ten seconds on the clock. He just has to stay alive for another five seconds, and that's going to be tough. He almost gets the ace. And the bomb's so far away. Stout can't win the round now. I think it's too late. It should surely be too late. Yes, it will be. Stout is quite far away from the action in the middle, so it might have to be the other two trying to open this up. Tessa's braving the fire, running through to try and open up the bomb site. They've lost Shush and Stout. Oh my what? god. I don't think he know. I don't think he had any idea there was someone behind that. Farley just collateral damage. And Tess is testing it out. Peeking the bomb once. He's going to go for it again, but he's running out of time really swiftly. Mister is out there, and Tess is almost getting it. But Mister's playing this one like he is a veteran player, just baiting him out, landing the second kill, and hitting 30. They can get really close to winning this in overtime. They need 19. They're about to get 18. Kadian doesn't even get close to the bomb side before he's blown up. <laughs> Blamer finding his 10th kill, finally. They're actually doing it live in front of our very eyes. Yabby here. They're sneaking around. Shush. Oh, he's going to go down. It's Mr. with another opening. Yabby, they're not quite ready for oh, that. Oh, no. <laughs> the panic has set in. And Yabby is wrecking their team with a little bit of help from the other side. Sip the last one left. Strahlis felt so doable, but that's it. Snown holding the angle. We're going to bring Ooh. ourselves to double OT. If they're ready on the A-bomb site, Kadian is... Oh, oh my what? god, he's playing it even deeper. No way. This kid is a genius. Oh, what? Oh, this is this could be an A-side free for the taking. Yeah, he's going to have to go for it there. He will get shot in the back. There's no way that he could realize that. But still, look at what it does. Yeah, he's immediately worried. Has to spin away, and Glaive will take him down. They're looking to try and win this round. They actually don't put it on the bomb. Instead, 
They throw it into the donut hallway, and that's a little bit interesting. Farley snuck all the way around. Surely a round winning move right there. Shush goes down, and Tessis, he'll find one, but he has to get another three, and he just has to go for it. Yeah, there's no point in faking it. Just try and stick it. They're going to come charging through. Glaive with a double. A, an excellent site execute that showed so much misdirection, but they're trapped behind their own smoke right now. Maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, Blame F wins the fight against Shush. He's not had himself a good game either. Gabby. Good flick to take down Blamer for the very least. He could have been dead already. Three on three, and the flash is decent to let him out. Gabby, he could have found that one. Tessa's trying to bring his way back, but he can't. Stout on his own now. One versus one. And Farlig has got that line covered with the AWP. He wants to bait out that shot so badly. In fact, he'd rather run the other way around just to avoid getting it immediately clocked by that AWP. And now he's out. Goes for the tap once. Not quite sure, but Farlig is right there, ready and waiting, and that's an easy shot. Another pivotal moment in this game. Oh, and there's the opening with the flash. Kadian setting it up, and Farley eats the entire flash and just gets outright killed. And they push down so far. <laughs> what an opening. Oh, yeah, there's no coming back from this one. Save anything you can. Yeah, just Jesus. literally five separate fights won across the map. Truly really doing God's work. Here we go. Tessas trying to get the opening, but Gabby's stealing it from whatever. They'll be happy to get it anyway, Mr. Hitting the deck early on. Sip, oh, what a lineup. It's nearly the triple spray down. Shush coming in. And again, he's had a tough game, but getting that one kill. It's all that matters right now. Forget everything else you've done. If you can get the next two rounds here, doesn't matter if you had a bad game. This wow. is it. Shush coming alive at a good time. Double for him. And Playmath is now on his own. One versus three. And a heroic about to hit map point. And they're going to be finding that kill. Kadian there with the AWP. He has to basically get a triple kill for this to work out. And that's almost impossible, especially when you get knocked out like that. Shush with what could be the defining kill here. Opening up the A-bomb site. Flameth comes back to take down Yabby. But the bomb is planted already. Mr. Charging through the flames. And he nearly had it on Tessus, who's now dropped 40 kills in this map. Farley can blame F2 versus 4 for what looks like an impossible retake. It might be the end of the road here for Ancient. Astralis... They are so far behind in this retake. I don't think they can even get close. Down is going to be going down, but it doesn't matter. All on Farley. The Eagles out, and through the smoke he goes. 22 to 20. Heroic winning Ancient in double overtime. That was an excellent attempt from Astralis, but Heroic, the better team overall. They are able to find that first map. Astralis on the CT side, Heroic on the T side, and Cadian run and go. What? what? It, the, the map starts with a knife kill from Mister. He's lost his marbles. He's, he's just gone crazy. I don't even know how that happened. It's got to be in the vent. Yeah, probably. Oh, my God. Yeah. That is the most likely scenario. Cadian sneaking oh. in. He sees the gun barrel, and he's going to execute Farley. Four on four as they take down Glaive. They claim the bomb site, and it's going to be a quick bomb plant. This is nice for Heroic to bring it back. Oh, this is so awkward now for Mr. Wow, how does he recover that fight? Okay. Three versus three. This is now possible. And Kadian, he might be going right into Blame F. Oh, you no. don't want to activate this guy. Yeah. Duelies are coming out. They know Shush is in the corner. It's all on him. Duelies are out. Mr. is a bullet away from death. But on! He finds the headshot. He gets the quad kill. And he is right on that bomb plant. Oh, bud. Three people out here now. Going to get the timing on Stown. That's a good beginning. He's just holding on to this position. And Heroic, this is actually the most confused they've looked so far. Yeah. Minute passed in the round, and they haven't really taken much of anything yet. Yabby, he spots that. Oh, no. These players are already waiting for you there. Three versus five now. Shush, he's dinked by that M4 from Blame F. And Heroic, they, there's just no in on this round. They don't know where they want to go yet. Blame F finding a headshot on Shush. They're getting picked apart. Stalled out in the yard just by one M4. Blame F finding a third kill before he finally gets hunted down. But now Tessas, there's absolutely no way here. One versus four. Wow. And they're going to find him glaive up from the high ground. So Kadian finds himself in the one versus two. He only has a flash. And Zipnix is actually very close on the ramp already. I think Kadian knows that because I think you heard him running just a second ago. So I'm pretty sure that he has the right idea. Could get the headshot, but they're coming in on either side. Good spray. And now it's Blame F versus Kadian. Can he clutch this round? He's trying to find it. Kadian will get the headshot. Yeah, which is super unexpected. Definitely would have assumed that they could do a little bit more. Oh, wow. Wait, what? Chaos in the smoke. They have no idea. Oh, oh, oh no. Zip is in there, but is it going to even matter? They don't know. They find Farlik. Surely someone's going to be wondering, where is Zip? And he misses the shot. 
Do they realize yet? Blame it from the other side. They still don't know. Oh, what? I think the silencer meant they had no idea that someone was shooting at them. And now Mister is going to be taken down Texas. I'm so confused. Everyone's confused right now. Abby and Stown still a 2 on 3. And Estrada's need to take a deep breath. No bomb plant yet. This is... The bomb is all the way up there. All right, they're going to find the kill. But I was going to say, just don't fight them in this 2 on 3. There's balance in the universe. Then Heroic will in this round just to steal the one back that Astralis took earlier. Okay. Well, not looking good for them here. Sit with a good spray. Wow, they get wiped out. Oh. Adian up on mini. Going to be walking straight wow. down. And blame it was not at all ready. That is such a cool move. Probably my favorite T execute on this map. Oh, yeah. This puts Astralis in such an awkward position. They've lost all eyes on outside. Mister, he's trying to find some information back. Farley gets one on the inside. And Kadian, he's found his time to strike. Takes down Mister from behind. Two versus four now. Farley, he's trying to stand his ground, but it's not enough. Zipnix, the lone player. If he just goes to his right, he's probably going to get edged down by Sip. So still a one versus three. And he's in a massive crossfire. There's even a gap there. Tessus will find him. Nine to six at the end of the half. And still a good lead for Heroic in the opening half of Nuke. Let's see. Flash through the ceiling. And they're going to go for it. Oh, good bit of damage at the start. But Yabby's back here. And he's getting a chance to get some shots out. What a brilliant headshot. He's running out of bullets, unfortunately. Still doing some good acrobatics to try and stay alive. And Kadian up from the heavens. All on Glaive now. One versus three, and Stown is down there. He was very quiet in the first half. He's got six kills now. This could be interesting. 25 seconds. If they come up the ramp behind, then there's going to be trouble. Sit with the opening, and they will look at Glaive. He's here to try and help out. Shush doing so much work, but he knew he was going to be in trouble there, and they catch Yabby coming down this, the ladder. It'll be a perfect round. That is a great read here. Stown in a one versus two, though. He's going to be running for it, but Glaive will catch him in Astralis. He's just now put it in as the other grenades were coming oh. through the ceiling. So I guess good timing. Tessis is going to be finding Glaive, but they've they've changed their minds. They've wow, said, all right, yeah. we're going to fake the A-bomb side. Run down below. Surely that's being heard. It is. And Kadian in a good position here. 15 seconds. The bomb lost for the minute. They need to pick that up and get that bomb planted right now. But shush. He was waiting all along. He heard them stepping in the beginning. Seven seconds on the clock. And even if it's a two-on-two, -two, I can't... They can't get this bomb planted. Surely there's no way... Gabby's not going to allow it, and that is the round one. There's so, so little to say in terms of, okay, well, they're getting another opening pick. So this could be, this could be a way in, and Tessus actually tries to respond with a dry push. Kadian back here. Let's see, it looks like they're going to come and challenge him, but they run back into Stown, and that catches him. They change their route, and it actually is a really good move. Kadian going to be gone, but even if he gets that shot, there should have been no chance here. Shush on his own. They need a kill right now for this retake to even start to make sense. Oh, and no. there it is. Stown with the opening headshot. They got to be careful. Sip takes down one more, but the bomb is ticked so far. And the AWP is gone, and so is the round. Ten on the side of Astralis. Stown is going to try and make it expensive. Glaive might go up to the bomb, but he doesn't. The enemy team is thinking that this is so suspicious. No bomb plant, and it's been 10 seconds. They're up to something. Oh, Kadian finding a little bit of value out there in town. He can't escape this position, but he's already got one kill. Yep, he's worried about that. No way. It's so accurate, though. What an amazing find. Look at him just peeking all over the place. Now they're just trying to find him, but now Shush has shown up to try and help out. Oh, man. Oh. He took all the attention and three of the kills with him to try and play a little bit more overtime, try and see if they can stay in it. Shush already letting a lot of people pass. It's all out of chaos. This is madness happening on the A-bomb side. Kaden pushing through the smoke to take down Blameth, and that allows some space. Farley got his own. He's going to go down heroic. They will make it to the fall finals, taking down Astralis. And this rivalry continues. Oh, man. That's a good one. And it's for bragging rights at that. You can see the smiles on the heroic faces. Kadian, Glaive, they both talked about it before this game, that this one meant a lot.